Hello, fellas, fellers, buddies, boys. What's up? What a way to start it. What's up, family? What's up? It's episode three of On the Road, and I'm. What's up to the ladies? No, this is boys club Oof. only. Boys we club. We hate women here. Boys club. Boys club. No, just me. Okay. I don't agree. That makes sense. Anyway. Makes sense. Oh, so. That's up now. Uh, I guess I want to start off with saying that, um, what, what has everyone been up to since we last talked? By the way, we're recording this on the Wednesday the second episode went up, so if you're waiting for us to comment on news that happened in between that week, we have nothing for you. You want to make this podcast episode us reacting to the last podcast since it's already up? We might as well just watch it. See, yeah. that that's the content brain we need to succeed. <clears throat> Anyway, um, but yeah, what have you guys been up to this week? Although you've been streaming, you've been you've been a Twitch grinder. Yeah, I've been streaming. I've been streaming. I'm streaming, redeeming. Streaming what? what? Art Mario sixty four. Art, just art. Just art. Okay, Millish, what have you been up to? Nothing. Just wasting more money on vinyls. Hey, any new ones you bought? I'm glad you're showing that off in an audio podcast so that I could see what it, I couldn't even see what it was. What was it? You don't need to know. All right, I it's guess I'll just go fuck it. myself. It's <laughs> definitely not on the road. Episode one printed on vinyl and side B is on the road. Episode two. Time it. I don't, I don't want to toot my, I don't want to toot my own horn, but I, I really like the album covers that whoever, whoever our editor is that makes the thumbnails. I think they're, I think they're pristine. I think they're so clean. I, I like the album cover like motif we're rolling with. Whoever came up with that and whoever started employing that, I think they're yeah. really smart. They're definitely a genius. They deserve a raise and maybe maybe a little bit of luck. luck. I agree with everything Milos is saying. He is a smart man who knows how to take care of his employees. I think it's stupid. What? Employees? Yeah, Milos, you own the company. What's the man? Employees implies that I'll have to pay you, and you know that ain't happening. Then what are we? Say the word. If we work for you and you don't pay us, what's the word you would dating? use? Dating? You guys are dating? We, oh, my, oh my god, I didn't want to talk about it. But yeah, me and Jagotron are fucking... Anyway. Uh, this is a terrible podcast. Just cancel <laughs> it. <laughs> no, it's the best pod. It's It's my favorite podcast. It's my second it favorite is. podcast. It is in my top five. It is in my top five. <laughs> um, but let's not talk about how Jay stuck a knife in the back of Road to Loser's Bracket. Let's talk about some news that came out. We can finally be topical. Guilty Gear Rev 2 is getting rolled back January 20th. Which means Millish finally has a Guilty Gear game he can enjoy. Hell yeah. Are you see me streaming? See me streaming Xrd. Gonna get my ass beat. You, you're never gonna stream. You're lying, bro. You will never stream. If you're lying, you better do it. Okay, you said it on the pod. It's in the room now. You better do it. It's it's in it's on the internet. If you it's on record. If you don't do it, I'll come for you. And I'll find you. <laughs> I need to stop making vague threats because I'm worried that our podcast will get taken down by the FBI. I hope I hope nobody isolates that and uses it in the future to <laughs> incriminate you. Nah, no, it definitely would, won't be me. <laughs> no one would do that. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. Um, Jigotron, although broke my copy, so I still need to fix it. He he implanted a virus into my copy. He's like, open up the program files and then put this in there, and then I did, and now it just never opens. It didn't work before that. That is. Irrelevant to the case, Your Honor. Just, your Your Honor Odell, please hear my case. Um, Millish take file. Millish give file. He says put file in game. I put file in game. Game breaks. Whose fault is it? What do you 
I think I'm. I think he is a bastard man, and he should he should die for his crimes. What do you think, Millish? I think that's an ad hominem, and you should throw out this whole case. Fair enough. I think you mispronounced that, but. Regardless, uh, I'm going to try and fix my copy that Millish broke, and we'll see what happens. Um, I, I do enjoy the game. I do enjoy the game a lot. Um, I just wish I could play it. <laughs> uh, last time I played it was at Evo. Um, and it wasn't casuals. It wasn't in bracket or anything. It was in our hotel room while the two of you were like sleeping or getting ready for bed. Me and Nanner stayed up and played literally every fighting game he had on his PS4. And I just every want... fight. Okay, maybe not. He every... had melty blood on that PS4. I know you're lying. Okay, maybe not every fighting game, but we played like we played Tekken. We played. I think we played Fight of Animals one time. We played a lot of Strive to practice for our brackets. Practice to lose. Well, actually, I think Nanner already lost. No, no, no. Nanner, Nanner had his. We both had our pools Saturday, and then we played Rev, which I won. Ha 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 ha. But yeah. Uh, Nanner has bad luck with Potemkins and Rev. I was he sent us a like a link to watch his like him going to his local, and he's the first match on stream, and he just gets bodied by this Potemkin. And I, <laughs> I'm watching this, and I, I just feel bad. Um, it's almost as if Potemkin needs to be removed from all Guilty Gear games. Shut the. F you know what's even worse? It has to happen. You know? After his Rev bracket, he went to a Strive bracket, and then he fought a Potemkin and lost again. They're coming for him, man. <laughs> the, the they smell the blood. <laughs> what did Alfonso do to Potemkin, huh? What do we... I don't know, man. He he pissed him off. He said some shit. Um, but anyway. Alfonso, you're on the list, bro. You gotta be careful. <laughs> uh, I'm hoping that um, now that Rev has rolled back, that the Strive versus Rev discourse is gonna like be put to sleep a little bit. You know what I mean? If Johnny's not added. It'll. I'll never end it. Well, just I'll keep it going until Johnny's in. Why don't you just play Rev? Now, you I have a guilty... Rev, what? But I still want to be angry. That's right. It's not enough for me to be happy. I also have to be angry. Hey, you know what? That's supreme hater energy, and I, I appreciate that. You should you should have pride in that. Um, but yeah, January 20th is when it gets rollback, which is, I think... Is the By the time they see this, it's already passed. Yeah, it's already passed. Um... I won't be able to play it because I won't be near my setup. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to get in games in later after I fix it. You know, fix the smoldering, blown up car that Nilish left me. I'm not over this. I will never be over it. You told Listen, me to man, fix give it. Listen, man, give me five minutes with your computer and I'll fix it. I do not trust you anymore. <laughs> Every time you say that, you're like, what the fuck? Or you're like, do this. And then it just breaks. Listen, man, the, you can't do computer fixing over remote desktop. I know there's a whole career doing that but those are just scams they're just trying <laughs> to get you to send them gift cards don't say career like that that's oh uh, but anyway yeah so i'm excited about that because i do like are the other iterations of guilty gear are getting rollback right i i don't know do you know plus ours got it rev 2's got it um every other version of xx on fightcade has it okay uh maybe if the playstation 1 gets added with rollback to fightcade then they'll do it for guilty gear 1 Mm -hmm. But that game's ass, like mega ass. If you get instant killed, you lose the entire game. Isn't? Oh, the entire game, not just a round. The entire game, both rounds. Um, you can do it any time. It doesn't require a meter. You just press four buttons and then do a motion. Can I be honest? I kind of like that. It's fucked up. That's why I never released in the arcade. Man, you go to the arcade, you put in a quarter, and you lose that shit in time, ten seconds. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's a lot of discourse over Strive and Rev. Just if people, like, you know, Strive is a simpler game, just, like, in all honesty. Simpler game, um, you know, kind of more geared towards the casual people to get them into Guilty Gear. Whereas Rev 2 is like, uh, uh, hold on, I'm gonna boost Odell a little bit. He a little, he a little quiet boy. Weird. <laughs> Did you just call me weird? Gear. Oh. You made a pun. Did you oh, say Did you even realize it? 20. Can you just be funny and not acknowledge anything, please? Uh, Sorry, I'm just a number one Jay hater right now. You Jay hater. hater, if you will. Don't say that. Don't don't say that. Jay hater. Where my jaters at? <laughs> don't. 
Can we get that going? And then just like a really angry face, Jay. Oh, then I'll commission an angry Jay face from you. That's fair. I didn't ask for this. Maybe we can use the curse, the first Jay photo as the. Oh no. As the face for Jaders. The what? The road to losers bracket lost media. The oh. unused faces. Oh. Um, some good ones in there. But yeah, not only did Rev uh, rollback date get announced, Combo Breaker got announced finally. So yeah. registration is now open for Combo Breaker. Um, and it's gonna be. It's been when this comes out, it'll have been like a week since it's been open. So, oh, yeah. so sign up now. Um, early registration. Um, that's the best way to do it because I didn't register for Frosties yet, and it's it's kind of expensive. Yeah. Um, what you get? Especially if you're competing. Just to compete, registration is $110, and then each game is an additional $10. Which I understand why they do it like that. Because, you know, I had ample time to register, and I just didn't. So that's on me. But holy fuck. That's why I'm going as a spectator. That's the only reason why I'm going as a spectator. How much is spectating right now? Oh, it's, it's fine. It's like 70 That's yeah. honestly not that bad. That's like the price of like an early bird registration for a competitor. Um, but yeah, so Frosties is going to be going to be a little pricey for that. Um, but yeah, register now for Common Breaker. Great event. Um, Melee's back at Common Breaker. Um, I might enter that. I don't know yet. I've been playing really slow. I've been playing Melee and I'm like noticing that I'm playing like like a newborn baby. I just had a game. You ever thought about just popping some Adderall? All the good Ooh. kids are doing it. I, you know, <laughs> unironically, there's a period in my life back in high school where I was like, I kept hearing about people like taking Adderall and getting better at Smash, right? Because that's, that's not how it works. But when you're a kid in high school and that's all you're hearing from like people making jokes on the internet, you're like, oh, oh, there might if be If they something. say it enough times, is it really a joke? Yeah, right? So then it's like, maybe I should do this. But I, I haven't. Let me let me. I Jamin Kim have never juiced up <laughs> to play a fighting game. I I have I never juiced up once, but it was too late. What? What? Anyway, <laughs> um, you're just built different. But yeah, melee's back. Um, maybe I will reclaim my throne and make it to top <laughs> the twenty third throne. Seventeenth, <laughs> dickhead. I got 17th. Wow, so close to the top 16. Almost relevant. Do you know, okay, you guys maybe won't know. Year. You guys this won't... year, maybe this year. Yeah, maybe this year. Yes. Here's the top 16. Hopefully the people watching this or listening to this understand these names. Because I know if I say these names, you won't get it. But you know who knocked me out? It was Nintendo Dude and Dreffin, top 100 players at the time. They knocked me out. It was I beat everyone else I came across. But it took two top 100 players to beat me. So what I'm saying is, I'm kind of built fucking different. Oh, yeah. They're holding you back, man. They're holding you back. Dude, they I'm... They don't so want you to prosper. <laughs> it's really funny, though, because if you watch that match, right, that I that was on stream, yeah, I do a move, and you hear the commentator, uh, Frederick Lamar, that's his tag, um, mm -hmm. you hear him say... What? That was stupid as I die. And I watched it back and I was like, damn, bro. That's kind of messed up. Yo, that was kind of stupid. <laughs> okay. Was it not? No, it was really stupid. There you go. But yeah, Calm Break is back. I'm excited to see the homies. I'm excited to see everyone that uh, is planning to go. Because mm -hmm. I thought Spin, Oscar, and I thought Nanner, Alfonso, were going to be at Frosty's. And then I got hit with a quick one two and i got told can't make it can't make it so that sucks so unfortunately life sometimes what yeah that's life sometimes it's just life sometimes and to be fair we were talking about kind of last minute right um ho alfonso's already registered for common breaker from what i saw right like he registered everything yeah so he's gonna be there oscar told me that it's the summer and he will have graduated so he won't be doing anything He'll probably still be in Madison because his lease ends, like, after Common Breaker. So, you know what I mean? 
Um, but yeah, so I'm excited for to go to Common Breaker. I think it's gonna be really sick. I think it's gonna be really fun. It always is a great time. Um, I'm gonna be competing at Common Breaker. Definitely guilty your strive. I don't know about melee yet. Let me let me let me play a little bit more and then give you an answer about that. But yeah, I'm excited for Common Breaker. Um, and I think the thing I'm looking I don't know, I can't pick one thing I'm looking forward to with Common Breaker, because I just love the whole experience. Anyway. But yeah. You love the Holy Spirit? I love the Holy Spirit. I love it when Christianity just overcomes me and fills me with power as I Potemkin Buster these people. You, yeah. you just Potemkin Buster these people? Exactly. You said? Yeah, exactly. That's Your crazy. Honor, please have it on the record that he Potemkin Busted on them. <laughs> I don't stop Potemkin Busting. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you two looking forward to Common Breaker? I mean, you two don't compete, but... What are you two looking forward to at Common Breaker? Hanging out. Hanging out. Yes, like sir. The vibes. The Hopefully vibes. Odell will have his art booth. Fingers crossed. We'll see how it goes, man. I Brand. Think, I can't forget. Did you have a booth at Common Breaker or was that Frosty's? Common Breaker. Okay. You weren't I, there, huh? I couldn't yeah. remember. I I was there. I couldn't remember. Yeah, you just wasn't there. You had to be there, man. You had to be there. I was there. I literally there. posed in front of the booth. Now, how did you not remember? I couldn't, dude. Cause, okay, honestly, Frosties and Common Breaker bled together a little bit. Or were you wearing shorts? No, I was wearing jeans. The whole the whole time. Yeah, I might have been wearing khaki shorts. That's how you know. I feel like I feel like I'm getting old, like old and like lame because I'm looking at khaki shorts as like. You're right about that. <laughs> anyway, Grandpa. combo breaker is gonna be dope. I go to play melee old game. <laughs> Grandpa, Grandpa. <laughs> I hate you. Oh, you know what I saw on the internet, by the way, or on Twitter after combo breaker was announced and people were talking about it. They're like, "Are we gonna be safe going to Chicago?" Bitch. <laughs> Common Breaker's in Schaumburg. It's like... People don't it's know a, that, man. They don't. It's a really don't nice suburb, though. You'll be fine. There's nothing to be worried about. There's really... I don't want to, like, over, like, correct, but I feel like there's, like, zero crime in Schaumburg. Am I wrong? Who knows? Maybe I'll just hire a serial killer to just start murdering people around me. That'd be pretty cool. That'd be great. That would that would be good content. Oh, it's, yeah. It's just you and the serial killer. I hired a serial killer? <laughs> Yo, when's that Mr. Beast video coming out? <laughs> yeah, thumbnail faces. Oh uh, yeah. Right I, for the red arrow, I like it's like a, a picture of Bigfoot basically. Oh like, yeah. Axe murderer. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I think people are like pulling it way out of proportion because they they hear Illinois and the only thing they can think of is Chicago, right? And the bean. The we bean? can't go to Combo Breaker. We'll get run over by the bean. <laughs> I don't like the bean, bro. I don't like the bean at all. You're not a bean no guy? Bean You're not a little bean guy? little bean bro? No beans. No bean, bro. The anti-bean man. I'm mean to the bean. Hey, bars. Keep keep that going. Keep that going. Mean to the bean. <laughs> Nothing in between. Oh! <laughs> Never before and seen. Oh! <laughs> I mean, but yeah, people are being ridiculous. I mean, they'll go to like CEO in Daytona, all right? Like that's way worse. I think, I think Common Breaker is gonna be fine. If you're worried about going to Chicago, congratulations, you're not. You'll be fine. You're not going. <laughs> you're not going. Sanctioned Combo Breaker. Stay home. <laughs> it's a war zone out there. You're not allowed to go. But yeah, um, but yeah. Excited for Common Breaker. Why are you waving? What are you waving at? A millish. Oh. A little blurry, right? Yeah. A little bit. Yeah. Focus on me. Here, let's do one of these real quick. Blowy. Oh. Blowy. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh, shit. Okay, hold on. I don't know if they fixed anything. Book it. Ugh. It made things a little... It's on you, Jay. All right. So, yeah. anyway. Edit it bad, Jay. <laughs> oh, hey, Jay. <laughs> um, Can I talk about my camera real quick? No, don't, please. No, <laughs> you're making it so annoying. Um, but yeah, okay, so, another announcement, the last two King of Fighters characters were announced. 
The is last it? two? Not the last two. Like the next two, right? Is the last two were leaked. Oh, okay. Like, we can talk about those. Them. They were leaked. Well, okay, so were the two official now? Leaked, you know? we'll, we'll go in order from oh. most oh. to least dangerous okay. to talk about. Okay. All right, so Kim Capuan, Pants God, coming back. Nice. Pants That's all you God. need to know. He's he's the pants god. We uh, won't know until we see him. They they are going out of their way to not show us below us. the hips. I'm yeah, gonna look up a picture of him. What's what's he? What's, what's, uh, look up Kim Capwan or uh, Kim Kof13 pants gif. Team gif. Okay. Half the budget went in that game went into his legs. It, this is literally why they went bankrupt. Is making his pants. No no. Nah, you gotta go for his idol pose. Go to the first one. Uh, yeah, there oh we go. Oh my god, that's so detailed. All the money went to his pants. Oh my god. Every single dollar. That is beautiful. That's, that is beautiful. So he got officially announced, right? Yeah. Okay. He's, it's it's kind of weird. He's in been He's been in every single King of Fighters' as base roster until 15. So people were like, yeah. what the fuck? Where's why, Kim? Why the fuck is Makoto there at the bottom of my Google search results? It's probably also people talking about the greatest pants in fighting games, which oh, we could I totally see. do an episode on. There's I enough character with great pants. Yo, game. FGC fit check. I'm DJ down. with the, the maximum, where it says maximum both sides. Oh my Good god. Shit. Double maximum. Anyway, so... Good shit. Is this the same Kim that was in Garo? No, no, those are his kids. What? Wait. His kids, Dong and Jay. Wait, isn't one of them? Are, is one of them adopted? No, no, they're Dong. they're both his kids. Oh, one is I'm Kim Jae Hoon and and one is uh, Dong Hwan. I'm thinking of but I'm sorry. <laughs> this man doesn't know a single. Don't talk about SNK ever again. I don't know anything about what? SNK. This is your time to shine. I don't know. I want All right. you to educate me. You you stop talking now. Next character is Sylvie Paula Paula. Good luck. Good luck googling that. <laughs> what is it? Sylvie Paula Paula. Probably the best character design in any King of Fighters game ever. Oh yeah, well, Delden, where's the where's your drawing of her for Combo Breaker? I know you got it ready. What is this? It's peak character design. What is I, this? I don't want to look at it anymore. It's it hurts my eyes with how beautiful it is. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's definitely hurting my eyes. What's her gimmick? What's she supposed to be? Uh, she's like a weird pop star thing. It was based on some trend in uh. I think China or something like that. It's not very popular anymore, I don't think. But she has like electrokinesis or whatever. She shoots electricity and stuff like that. She's an alright character. Like Blanca, okay. bro. Yeah, she's like Blanca, but kind of uglier. Weird, huh? <laughs> I don't know how it works. Hey. The next character after is going to be much cooler. Okay. Uh, the next character is, I'm going to just spell it out for you. N-A-J-D. Najd. Najd? Najd, yeah. Oh, she's oh. very cool. I know of her. I don't. All right, tell me what you know. She's hot. <laughs> She's really hot. Gotcha. I can agree. Okay. Anyway, not I'm, cool. I'm sorry. Did I say something incorrect, Odell? I said fair. Oh, I'm sorry. I got really aggressive for no reason. Then I'm sorry. Hey, man, defend your. She's not gonna before. fuck you, bro. You don't have to defend her. She's not gonna I'm fuck. White. You. I'm simping for her. So what's what's her oh, thing? She's hot. I swear. <laughs> She's like. She's beautiful to me. Is she sand? No, no, no. Mm, that's racist. Anyway. <laughs> so you're, you're thinking of the other guy. <laughs> yeah, you're thinking of Kukri. Now she, uh, she Whoa, controls shadows and stuff that. like that. I can say whatever I want <laughs> with the hard K. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, she controls shadows and stuff. She's actually really cool because um, go mm. to the last picture in the first row. Last picture on the first row. This one? Let me Yeah, click on that. Let me see if this is the one I'm thinking no, no, no. Okay, go back, go back. Okay, fuck. So, now that you've clicked into that photo, now go to the second photo in that bubble. That is the original design. It was designed by a woman in Saudi Arabia. It was a fan contest. They were Why like, hey, it design so it. Small? Um, maybe you should have clicked it and clicked into the thing instead of just, uh, you know, opening up the image. Why don't you click the thing? Just click it and take it and see where it takes you. It takes me here. All right, we'll scroll down a bit, I guess. Oh, my God. Anyway, yeah, uh, Saudi Arabian woman, de woman designed her for uh, the game. And they were like, all right, best design. We're picking her. That's so, so sick. Yeah. 
She's a very good character. She was very top tier. Just be ready for people to hate her on release because she's probably still going to be good. I, I can never hate her. Yeah, yeah, we get it. I think I have my... Uh, yeah. I guess next, let's talk about the character that we can predict but isn't confirmed yet. Oh, uh, uh, this so is like you... leaked? Uh, not leaked. I, I'm leaving those for last. That way, in case we get in trouble with S SNK, you can trim this out. SNK ain't going to watch this shit. They're gonna get. They're coming after us. I actually already sent out a request to get an early copy of Garo. Uh, I was denied, but now they know about my existence, so it's dangerous. <laughs> you expose yourself to the Matrix, and they're gonna get you exactly. like they got Andrew Tate. That's uh, <laughs> so the char the season pass is six characters. I just want to say they real just updated quick, the. Okay, go ahead. Cut me off. Go I ahead. just want to say real quick that Miller's just an Andrew Tate of Road to Lose the Bracket, and that we should don't all, don't say that. We should all <laughs> do that much. I I, I don't agree with this. <laughs> All right, go on with your little funny Anyway, <laughs> the character passes six characters, but the character select screen that they just updated has seven characters. Oh, so maybe like so bonus character? There's, there's probably going to be another boss character added, much like how they did with Rugal for free last oh, year. God. <laughs> uh, it's going to be Gonitz. G-O-E-N-I-T-Z. I'm not falling for that. No, no, Gonitz. G-O-E-N-I-T-Z. I swear, I swear on my dead grandma. This isn't like a like a gotcha joke. <laughs> this is be a good one. <laughs> yeah, like, right. No. Uh, is this it? There he is. That guy looks okay. Rugal looks cool as shit. This guy looks lame as fuck. He's pretty cool in terms of his play style. He's like wind wind control stuff, but he's been teased for a while. Um, in the last. No, one of the previous DLCs, the Orochi team, uh, they tease him. He's he, the next boss chronologically. It's Brugal, then it's Gonitz, then it's like Orochi. Is he like a religious so, figure? Yes, very much. Okay. He's pretty cool. Funny. He throws wind at you. He's got tornadoes. He's an asshole. He's very busted. We'll see how he goes. He quotes we'll Bible definitely verses have to, at you. Yeah, uh, it might maybe. I don't I don't I don't remember that part, but <laughs> anything could happen in the new game, I guess. Hey, you're right. But yeah, we can definitely do a video on that because he, assuming they make him overtuned, he's he was already an asshole to begin with. So yeah, yeah. Speaking about that video that we did with Rugal, you know what made me like really sad? I was like, yeah. oh, I'm curious about how other people like talked about Rugal or Rugal, right? So I go online and I'm watching Justin Wong's video and like other people's videos and like, and at the end of the video they're like, man, Rugal was really easy. <laughs> I heard that I was like. Fuck, bro. I I don't got it like that. I'm not yeah, like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Aldo. Yeah. yeah, you felt he was easy. We literally got him. Like we beat him in like 20 minutes. Yeah, you're right. The only reason we I like the only reason why we were rushing is because it took you like 20 hours for that one combo. Huh? I said I said the only reason we were rushing. <laughs> Stop cutting me off. What you say? I said the only reason. <laughs> What are you saying? I say we move on to the next character. Yeah. Before, uh, you know, before a fight breaks out. <laughs> I was going to say a fight break, like a hockey what fight. Happened? Oh, fuck you. That's what happened. Wow. The first <laughs> curse of the day. Bro, we got Rugal done. Was that the first curse? I was no shot. No, I've definitely said something beforehand. <laughs> I definitely said the word. <laughs> anyway, now we are in, in dangerous spoiler territory. The leaks. Okay. Okay. Uh, next character is Duolon. D U O L O N. Can we. Why these names? This looks like a Dynasty Warriors character. He might be. Who knows? Um, he's kind of got like stretchy limbs. Imagine Dalson, but he's kind of like a combo character instead. That sounds like the worst fucking thing ever. He's yeah. dope. That yeah, sounds like. He's, dream. he's very sick. I, I hate that. He was um he was part of the hero team in what, the third saga I believe at one point. But the third saga is weird. Every single game Ash is betraying his past teammates. So at one point Oswald the car dude was part of his team. I want Shen to come back. Google Shen KOF. He's the the coolest dude. Shen Shen What How the fuck did that happen? Shen. Okay. Shen is the coolest dude. All he you does have is a punch. type. I was just say he's not in. Uh, he's not in fourteen. He's not in fifteen. He's in thirteen, he's in and he's amazing. 
in 13. Milish has a tight bro. I don't know if I'm not in 14, though. Uh, most of the characters from this saga don't come back because they had a falling out with one of the artists. Wait, look, look who at made this character. This and then think about the characters that Millish plays in Fighting Aids. You definitely have a type, bro. Okay, sue him. I just want him to look cool. I just like I just like rough haired chiseled men. What okay. rough blonde haired chiseled men? With their open with their open abs. Just yeah. Right yummy, yummy. Like, Alex, Johnny, Shen. Inky do. Inky do. Inky do. <laughs> Coma. <laughs> Every character village plays. All right, you got me. That's crazy. I just like <laughs> cool characters. You caught me. Sorry, Jay. Oh my yeah, god. Look cool. at his abs. I think you just fit less fan art. It doesn't count. Oh well. Oh, he got he got no abs in. The, well, he's kind of got abs. Okay, no, he's got abs. Shit. Okay, no, no never. Oh my god, I see why you like this guy. Hold up. God. Damn. Hold up. Hold, <laughs> holy shit! <Yeah. laughs> Let me take a sip. <laughs> sure. All right, and the last character. I'm Stop assuming she's last. Stop bookmarking, man. <laughs> <laughs> bookmarking. Uh, the last character is Hinako. Hinako? Hinako. Did I, did I get that? I can't see it, Jay. It's too small. This character is gonna be meme material. I'm telling you. She looks so, like a flight attendant. <laughs> right. She looks like a flight attendant. She's this, she's this tiny little girl. Guess her fighting style. I actually know it because I saw you talk about it in the Discord. Yeah. Go to the second row first gift. She is a sumo wrestler. Second row. Oh. Her story is that she wants to be the ultimate sumo, but everyone's like, you're a girl, you can't do sumo. And so she tosses the fuck out of it. I was going to say, so she just beats back the patriarchy, right? Just exactly. pushes it out of bounds. Yeah. Hell yeah, yeah. sister. Hinako's going to be all this meme material. Be ready for the videos to drop. I'm fucking... I just heard <laughs> sumo tossing everyone. Bet, okay. That's... Yeah. <laughs> so, is she like Ihana or is she like a grappler? Uh, no, she's like Ihan. She's a sumo wrestler. Okay, okay. Like, she does sumo stuff. She throws out the salt and everything. She has the the, the slap and everything. I'm, I've am i been out of focus. This episode has been riddled with technical issues, but it's fine. Well, good okay. thing they can't see it. They're just listening. Anyway, Jay, before we move on to the next news, can I add in a piece of news? Potential piece of news. You're just going to slide in there? Yeah. I'm going to slide it in there. Secret news? Secret news? Secret news. Secret news. Jay would have known if he was a real fan. Uh-oh. Uh, I, I don't play SNK games. It's not about SNK, you moron. <laughs> oh, oh. Anyway, on the 20th is the Grand Blue Festival. It happens every single year where Who new Grand Blue news fuck? is announced. Who you gives already a know, shit? You already know what's going to happen. Ten dollars. Rollback will be announced for Grand Blue Fantasy. Grand Blue, more like Grand Blue Balls, with the way they keep teasing Rollback and not giving it to you, Millish. Ayo. Ayo. More like Grand Snooze if they don't add Rollback. More like in this announcement. Ugh, sleeping. Yeah, good one, bro. More like Grand. Please don't kidnap my family, Millish. I miss them and I wish I could see them again. Hey, got him, Jay. Hey, got him. <laughs> got him. Anyway, <laughs> if Grand Blue Rollback is not announced, Jay will eat a rotten egg on the next episode. I never agreed to this. I never... Jay agreed to this. It's in the contract. That's how I'll, confident you are, man. I'll tell you what. If if Grand Blue Rollback gets announced on, what is it, January 20th? Uh, maybe not the 20th because the, the festival starts on the 20th, but it goes over the whole weekend. So okay. 20th, 21st, 22nd. By if... Monday, we should know. If it gets announced at the festival, the three of us will smoke crack together. <laughs> and we will we'll record it, we'll do it in a room, and we will just... That's how we're starting. Nice, tr <laughs> nice try, officer. You can't trick me. I'm going back to playing my fighting games. <laughs> Next week's episode. The yeah. Ragged Boys do cocaine. Our eyes are just bloodshot and our hair is all frizzed out. We're just all super fucked up. Uh, I'm I I'm gonna be honest. It might happen, but I'm here. I'll I'll take a bet with you. Okay. No. <laughs> I I don't think it's gonna happen. 
It's going to happen, bro. I have, is it a coincidence that Xrd rollback is officially done on the 20th? Mm. Listen, I have no emotional attachment to this game. I don't play this game. I don't give a shit about this game. I don't care about this game. The closest attachment I have to this game is like the six degrees of caring. Where I care about Mike Ross, who cares about Grand Blue, so like two degrees of caring. That's the only way I care. All I'm saying is, if Grand Blue had rollback since day one, it would be as popular as Strive. I don't doubt that. I do not doubt that. But the reality we live in, you little dreamy loser, is that it doesn't have rollback. Hey, you dreamy loser? Yeah, you dreamy loser. We'll see who's a loser come next week. I will come next week in your mouth when we don't get rollback. I really I really hope it does get rollback. <laughs> I don't play I don't play the game, but I, I do I want Millers to be happy. This Thank is like you. how I felt when like <laughs> Maximilian was going on about like Sub Zero being in Mortal Kombat, uh, being in uh, not Mortal Kombat. <laughs> <you know>? so, <laughs> so I like, yeah, I was like, I, that's how I felt. I was like, you know what? That could happen. Let's do it, man. And it just never happened. I, uh, I, there's I still a like, chance. I feel like, I think, <laughs> come on, Smash Ultimate Two. I mean, it happen. listen, in Smash Ultimate, I got everything I asked for, so I didn't give a shit. And then they gave us Sora, and I. Should have been Dante, I agree. I loved when everyone was like, yo, put Banjo-Kazooie in, and they finally did it, and then no one played him. <laughs> no, one, no one gave a shit. <laughs> Literally, like, no one gave a shit. I I did think the reveal trailer was really funny, where they just fucking redid the like King K. Rool trailer, but instead, he's in the house, too, with them, and it's just Banjo-Kazooie outside this time. Uh, that was really that was, good. That was, that was a good one. That was a good one. We all had a good chuckle. And then, and then, yeah, no one played him. Everyone's playing. I played him. Pirate. There's footage of me playing him. Yeah, there is. No one like, no one competitively like plays him. There maybe like two people, maybe. Have there? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've seen like Banjo and Bracket like twice. You know, what? to be fair, I don't really keep yeah, up with the ultimate you know names. I don't know. I I don't keep up with the ultimate except for like top eights. I only watch like top eights. I don't watch like top sixty fours. I I honestly only watch for one player and his name is Riddles and he plays Kazuya and he is is Kazuya is hilarious to watch and I just love watching Kazuya. But then he comes across as Steve and I just get depressed. That can't be fun. That cannot be fun. What? Playing him against Steve? Yeah. No, that's fun. Steve's not so bad. Yeah. Mm. He's cool. I don't know, man. Are we talking about Tekken or are we talking about Smash? I'm talking about both. Double Smash. <laughs> Um, but yeah, Smash, uh, I, yeah, I don't really keep up with Smash Ultimate except for Riddles, go Riddles. Genesis is this weekend. It's a humongous, it's like, it's like the Evo of Smash, which used to be Evo, but now it's Genesis. Yeah. Yeah. Genesis Genesis is is a big, it's a big play, a big, uh, tournament for both Smash Brothers and Dance Dance Revolution, actually. And all. Also, Strive is there and for Strive. some fucking three, reason. The, the, the three games, man. I, Smash, four games. Strive and Rhythm Games. I, I don't know why and, Strive is there, but I'm fucking down for it. If I knew, I probably would have wanted to go. But it's because it's a big casual game, that's why. It's a casual, big audience. Yeah, you're a casual, Jay. See me in Rev 2. It's a casual. I've beaten casual. you every it's time in Rev 2. No yeah. footage. I... Oh... Oh, you son of a bitch. Can we talk about how you two ditched my ass, by the way, when I was playing Rev at Frosty's? I remember this vividly. It's me, you, Nanner, and Odell. And we're playing Rev 2 at a setup, right? And I'm dusting you three. I am dusting you three, right? And then this, this, I never got her name. Can, this can, girl. I, can I say that this is already like a lie? Oh, oh, you you dust me? You I, dust. I, I don't play the game. You de- you play games when we're in a group setting. Not Rev. Okay, so it's just me. Well, you were there. Odell is a guilty gear azuka kind of guy. Excuse yeah, me. Whatever he said, that's me. Yeah, yeah I was gonna say. All right, fuck? all right. Let me explain guilty gear azuka. Imagine guilty gear, but it's Smash Bros. Ooh. I don't like that. But there's a button to turn around. <laughs> I, there's oh a God. turnaround button so you can do motion still 
I, I hate that even Would you more. like to play it? It could be on the show. Tune in. I, okay, listen. If you put it on the show, I'll play it. I just will be miserable. <laughs> so is everybody else. <laughs> um, anyway, back to your fake story about you beating me. Dude, I've always been you. But okay, so it's me and you and Nanner playing. I guess Odell's watching. Or he's either watching or he's at the fighter's setup. Right? And so this, this player walks up to us and she's like, can I play? And I'm like... Sure. So no, you're lying. No girls play fighting games. You are capping. You are capping. She says, sure. Now, like, now Adele's getting canceled. <laughs> <laughs> Millish, you're next to get canceled. <laughs> I've oh, done man. nothing wrong and will continue to do nothing wrong. But so she sits down. She dusts my ass with Bedman. I am like getting destroyed and okay i'm gonna be honest when i get destroyed like a, like a couple times in a row i look around for someone to take my spot so that i, can I look have... around to, if everyone's gonna see the misogyny i'm about to whip out <laughs> no one was there so i was like all right <laughs> um but i look around to see like like hey what's up and i look over and it's <laughs> it's motion nanner huddled over a different rev setup with Odell behind them and they're playing and they left my ass and I just look back and I play like, <laughs> dude, because <laughs> I feel bad about just being like, oh, okay, I'm going to go now and like just move one setup over <laughs> <laughs> like you guys fucking did. So I sat there for like 20 rounds, right? Or 20 games. And I, I didn't take a single game. I got perfected so many times. <laughs> and I, and that's how bed man is. And then finally you guys get up to go play fighters or something. And I'm like, oh, finally. It's not like I was having a bad time, but man, like getting 20 out, I'm like, fuck. You know what I mean? My homies I aren't. Girl, I can't wait till she's at the frost. <laughs> and she, she finds you and she's like, yep. You trying to run it back or what? <laughs> you <laughs> sit down. We're playing again. And I'm like I begging you. I track of a record. So I am. I mean, we're doing a first to 100. Just going to, you know. She's like dragging me by my ankles and I'm like begging you guys to save me. And you guys just walk away to a different She walks setup. up and she immediately, she puts a chain around your ankle and around <laughs> the, the table. And she's like, all right, now that we've gotten that out of the way. First to 100 right I hope now. you remember me. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> yeah, she, she doesn't even introduce herself. She's walking over and she like bumps into you. You're like, oh, this rude person. And she chains your ankle. You're like, what the fuck? And then she chains <laughs> you to the table. Like, what is going on? She's like, you remember me? <laughs> We're playing Rev right now. But yeah, it, Frosty's was a fun time. I'm excited to go again. Um, I don't have a way to get to Illinois, by the way, because I won't have my car due to some... Just walk. Due to some true. issues. How did Lewis and Clark get here? That's true. How did they? How did it happen? A, How did it happen? A river? A river? Just <laughs> one river? M Start Mult digging. Come on. Start digging. Anyway. I have to make the rivers before I sail. Yeah. Jay, because your brain is not massive enough, I'm going to reverse a little bit. And I'm going to steal the segue that you lost. So speaking of Bedman, the Guilty Gear DLC is coming up. Yes. And the next character for sure is Bed Girl. Who is Bedman's sister? sister. Her name's Delilah. We don't oh, know if cool. she's going to be fighting like Bedman, where she's like on the bed, and she's going to have like the... You know, the, the rewind bullshit where she plays the move back. That or maybe she'll be a stand user and she'll be like, go bed man. Because the, the bed is actually bed man now. Like his soul is in the bed or something like that. So we'll have to wait and see how that goes. But there was a small like snippet of her, right? In the, She's uh... in the story mode. Well, the second story mode. No, no one played that. I'm, But like there was like... She was in a trailer, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. They teased it. Um, uh, might be in, like, the balance patch trailer or something like that. They uh, they tease her. Where, they're like, oh, wait, ooh, the, re the, the, the static from Bedman's bullshit shows up, so. Uh, fuck. Just search <laughs> Guilty Gear Strive Delilah teaser. Oh, teaser. Not well, okay. Wait, actually, okay, this works. Okay. Yeah, this works, right? <laughs> so you got the static, which is very Bedman-esque. Hold on. Showing clips from that thing, showing the bed. Yeah, uh, that's bad, man. Why is there commentary? Yeah, why, why is there commentary in there? Hold on, let me mute hey, this yo, shit. That's bad, hey, yo, that's bad, man. Coming March. It's a, sh it's a shame that Frosty's is in February, because Bed Girl could have been beating your ass at Frosty's and survived now. And then you're like, oh, I'm tired of this. Let me play 
You might play what Rev 2 and then the bed, get your really? ass beat. Hmm? What if it's just the bed? <laughs> yeah, wait. It could it, be bed. It yeah, it like could be bed. It's just the bed. <laughs> it could be just the bed, but um hype. I would play Bedman just I just the bed. If I, I would I would pick up Guilty Gear Strive to just play as the bed. But yeah, so I, mean, like I, well, like, I, I hope it's just the bed, but it's probably Delilah because the like DLC files mention her name. I would I would play Tekken like crazy if they came out with chair. Like chair just chair. Like, oh, <laughs> just no. inanimate objects just beating the fuck out of these people. His rage already as he stands up, like the four legs <laughs> become his arms. <laughs> um but yeah, she seems cool. Um probably not gonna pick her up. Um Because you're a misogynist, I know, I know. I play I play Geo. You don't play Geo. You I play, play a little bit of Geo. I play a little bit of Geo. Then, then I'm only like, a little misogynistic. You're like, oh yeah, Geo's pretty cool. You're like, you know, that's for a, girl, a woman. Right? <laughs> <laughs> She's cool <laughs> for a <laughs> woman, I guess. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. And then there's one character left for Guilty Gear Strive. Jam, no right? No clue. It's not going to be Jam. It's probably going to be Slayer. Dude, they're they're going to... Or it's going to be ABBA. And I'm not saying I'm not saying there's a reason a, that ABBA wait, will be there. ABBA's it's just a, that I keep seeing ABBA everywhere. ABBA's a band, dummy. Yeah. Are you finally <laughs> understanding how Guilty Gear works? Oh my god. <laughs> anyway, I don't know if maybe it's just because I'm constantly scrolling through Twitter. There's a lot of ABBA going on on Twitter. I don't know what's. It's I think the just... government is pushing ABBA onto our feeds. <laughs> Man, I'm so, tired of... You're used to seeing ABBA, so then when ABBA's in the game, you're like, oh, that makes sense. Well, it makes sense, ABBA. But I'm... I do think ABBA might might be, like, a surprise character, because I feel like the last character they want to be, like, a out of nowhere character. Like, Testament. Everyone was like, oh, Slayer's gonna be last. Mm -hmm. Testament. Who was... who expected Testament? Was Testament season one? Mm-hmm. Okay. Last character. They just came out of nowhere. It was literally just, like, Testament. Everyone was like, what? How many they seasons? thought it was Slayer at first when they heard the voice. They were like, oh... It's Slayer, and then they see it, and they're like, who is this? And it says Testament, and I was like, what the fuck? Testament Everything said, pointed towards Slayer, uh, Slayer, Slint, Slayer, Sin, and Jam. And Testament showed up. And Sin was the only one of that original prediction, right? Uh, well, because the, the way they do it is based on the, the dialogue. There's, like, versus dialogue. Same thing right now. We know Delilah's next because there's dialogue for Delilah. Like, oh, against Delilah. Like, Sin and Del Delilah have dialogue against each other. But God. there's like dialogue between Biken and Slayer in the in the files. Oh, right? okay. Um, I someone had dialogue against Jam, so like maybe. Same thing. There was dialogue against Biken and Sin way back when Biken got added. So they're like, ah, Sin's coming. And then Sin Damn! So on. you have Doesn't no do hope, huh? Johnny ain't coming ever. That's crazy. See me in Rev Two. He's had he's he won like every popularity contest except for like Japan, right? I believe he is the most popular character, um, overall. If you yeah. like go and like add up, like even, let's say you give like character number one gets ten points, right? Yeah, give ten points to whoever's a... at the top, right, and then go down that way. I believe Johnny literally is the most popular character. Yeah, so Bridget is the most popular in Japan. They gave they put yeah. Bridget in. We we saw the chart at Evo, right, where it listed like the like most popular characters, right? Johnny was number one. For like every single one except for like Japan. And no, no, he's not. He's not number one in like all of them, but he's like top three to five in all of them. He and was when you number add in, one like, in if a lot you were of to, places. He's number one in a couple of them, but like there's some like where he's third. You know, there's some where okay, he's like okay. fifth. But if you were to like you know on a point system add them all up, Johnny Slayer and then I think Dizzy is the order. I think that's the most popular characters. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm. That that makes it even more surprising that like Johnny didn't make a name because like uh -huh. they're gonna wait for the sales to dwindle when you know the sales are dying. They add Johnny in, then they add Elfelt, and then everyone quits the game. Uh, <laughs> full circle. Um, uh, I'm. It's just rev. It's just rev three. <laughs> how many uh? How many seasons do you think Shrive is gonna get? They said they want to add as many characters as possible. They want to try to get the whole cast back. So I'm hoping they just keep going because usually uh, there was I'm, I can't remember who it was. Somebody pointed it out, but basically Guilty Gear tries to follow behind Street Fighter. Mm -hmm. So usually like Street Fighter will release a game and right before Street Fighter releases a game, a new version of Guilty Gear comes out and whatever the last Street Fighter game did, that's what the current Guilty Gear is doing. Mm -hmm. So now that Street Fighter 6 is about to come out, we're probably going to have to wait till Street Fighter 7 to see a new Guilty Gear. Okay, I see. 
You know what I mean? Because usually they wait and they see. That's why like Street Fighter Five and like people are comparing Strive to Street Fighter Five a lot. And mm-hmm. it's very similar. There, there's a lot of similarities. Like crush counters is basically the big slowdown counters. Yeah, yeah. Right. They've they've streamlined a lot of stuff uh, from previous games. Where they're like, well, characters don't need this. They need something to like get around. Like they're trying to un- like universalize the tools. Where it's like, oh, everyone has a way to get around this and do this right. and do that. And like moves where it's like, well, nobody uses this move that Soul has. So why have it in the game? They just get rid of it. It's a cool move. You should have it, right? But they're like, he, you have no reason to use it. So why do it? Like Dragon Install. Like, it's cool. Mm-hmm. It's the coolest thing in the game. But it's ass and no one uses it. So why would you put it in the game? The same thing with Street Fighter Five. They're like, well, you know, like, um, Alex, the DDT. They only added it in, like, four seasons in. Because it's like, well, why would we give it to him? It's ass. They, mm-hmm. Literally, no one has said anything good about it besides it looking cool. You know? So it's one of those things... We'll see. We'll yeah. see what happens. But um, I hope Shrive lives for a while. I, I hopefully it's my it, it's the game I play the most. No, okay, it's the fighting game I play the most now. It's it's not the game I play the most. I think the game I play the most is like Baldur's Gate or like WWE 2K22. Is the, are we at three for three every single episode? You talk about Baldur's Gate? I didn't talk about it last episode. Okay, you you did. No, I didn't. Yep. I edited the last episode. I think I would know. Oh, so you admit you're the editor. You admit you were gassing yourself up at the beginning of this episode. Oh my god. I think we can end this episode now that the mystery has been solved. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, wow. Was that all? Did you? Did you yeah, actually... I planned this out. I'm the real host of the On the Road podcast. Did I've been planning me? this out for weeks. Did you fucking oh get me? God. Dude, you got me I so good. I anymore. I... That was, I I've, I've never been bamboozled so hard in my entire life. You never know it's you. You never know. Trust no one. I not even yourself. <laughs> that's crazy, man. So um, yeah. Hi, I'm the editor of all Road to Lose Bracket content. I that's edit, a lot. I edit fighters. If you I if edit, you did if you did <laughs> editing, we'd have an episode out already. <laughs> I edit everything. Um, yeah, I'm the editor. I also handle... I did all the merchandise that you saw earlier at Combo Breaker. Um, I handle... <laughs> I man, handle... Me and Odell are going to... There's going to be a, a separate Discord call after this one. <laughs> <I'll tell you laughs> <laughs> no, I, I do nothing. I'm the, I'm the talent of the show. I'm, I'm the one that wins. Don't! Don't me. Oh, oh, winning. Listen, oh. my win winning percentage is. We should go back and count like who has the highest winning percentage amongst us. I'm kind of curious. <gasps> Roads lose the bracket among us with three people. That'd be great. That would be I'd awful. But anyway, yeah. So. I think that's pretty much everything um, that, that, like, happened. Um, Guilty Gear, King of Fighters, Calm Breaker, Grand Rev. Blue. No one gives a fuck about Grand Blue. You'll see. You'll all see. <laughs> Ta- <laughs> I'm not crazy. You guys are crazy. Like I said, if it gets rollback. Grand Blue. You know what I mean? We, we it's, got- a, it's that meme of, uh, of Jeb Bush. It's him, and it's all <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> um, That's gonna be me. <laughs> I guess, like, the last thing is that, like, I watched Last of Us, which was really good. Um, I've not seen it. It's the first episode. It's the only problem I have with this. It's a weekly release, right? So, it's every Sunday at, like, 7 p.m.? Or, yeah. like, 8 p.m. And, like, it sucks, because, like, I had D&D last time it came out. So I had a way to watch it, but luckily I had MLK Day off, so I could I watched it the next day. And yeah, it's it's good. Pedro Pascal is a great actor. Um, you know, everyone else did their part well. It is basically a one to one of the game. There's like a little bit more like meat added. Where like we see like Ellie meeting Oh wait, actually I shouldn't spoil anything. Yeah, yeah, spoil spoil the spoil the episode. Go but, ahead. You know, you you get like extra stuff added to it, right? It's on HBO Max if you want to check it out. It's every Sundays at 7 p.m. This is not an advertisement. They're not paying me to say this, by the way. If um, only. That's that's something that someone that gets paid would say. 
No, it's actually illegal to not inform people that you're being sponsored. Um, but yeah, so I, I like it. I want to play Last of Us again. Um, I might even play the sequel, which has its own air of controversy. But now that time has passed, I feel like I'd be willing to give it a try. Yeah. Have you guys played Last of Us? I played Last of Us 1 a little bit. Yeah, same. Didn't beat it. I watched the Let's Play of it a long time ago. <laughs> same. I, I actually say, I, I don't know if this is going to reach its target audience, but if anyone remembers the Fine Bros back then... They they did a whole playthrough of Last of Us, and I watched that before I got the game. The Fine Brothers. Yeah, they did. <laughs> they they did the Last of Us. Oh man, I don't think we should bring them up. They're gonna sue us, man. Are they still around? Look to it. Yeah, huh? their their only hobbies are suing people. <laughs> Listen, they're gonna watch this video because they just they're gonna hear Fine Brothers, and then they're gonna talk about they're gonna see that we're talking about like reacting to the podcast. And then we're gonna get sued. That's what's gonna happen. Listen, we're screwed. We you will screwed have us. we will have the public support because oh. out of the two groups, one of us did blackface, and it was not Road to Lose's bracket. That's all I'm gonna say. Huh? Fine Road Bro to Lose's bracket did not do blackface. Yeah, between okay, between Fine Bros. You don't and, know my life. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, thanks for watching. Me and Odell and Miller need to have an HR meeting. Which which one of us is HR? What, a, what happens when HR does blackface? <laughs> oh, your HR? Oh, no. We're so screwed. For the record, I don't do blackface. Strike that from the the, the records. This is staying in. <laughs> Not not this disclaimer. Delete you're the wiki. Not this disclaimer you're doing. I'm just keeping it out. In <laughs> fact, I... Miller's blackface controversy. <laughs> Jagotron, Wikipedia, and then you scroll down controversy. <laughs> <laughs> blackface, <laughs> and then under that, the murder of, <laughs> of Fight J Fight. <laughs> you killed me after I released this. You're like my. As I'm editing, you just peer behind me like my. And then underneath head. that is blackface relapse. <laughs> Like it's a drug. Like <laughs> you're going to. I need it, man. <laughs> I can't. I can't not do blackface. <laughs> what is wrong? <laughs> if uh, Justin Trudeau is allowed to do it, why not me? That's the crazy part. He's not allowed to do it. He keeps getting shit for it. Oh, <laughs> uh, Odell, how do you feel about this? <laughs> Odell's crying. <laughs> Oh, you can't see it because his hands are so dry that he's drying out his tears immediately, but he's crying there. Damn, yeah, you say he got dry ass hands? hands? <laughs> I make sure my hands are super dry, so if I ever if I ever sweat or cry or anything, I just I'm protected at all times. That wow, you're so you're built different. That's all. You're brave. Right. This is what I am. Well, wouldn't go that far. Feel like feel like that's giving you props you don't deserve. A little rude. And then, if you're not interested in Last of Us on HBO Max, you can watch a different show, like Velma on <laughs> HBO Max. Starting to sound like you're sponsored, Jay. Trust me, I would not accept a sponsorship from Velma. I, I, listen, if I'll give you... good money, I would. Misogynist. What? Okay, what? <laughs> no. Don't. Start that shit. What is... Okay, let's think of a horrible product, right? Yeah. Oh! Okay, how much money would you accept to be sponsored by the... What? 30 bucks? You didn't even know... He doesn't even know what he's being sponsored by. Yeah, you don't even know what he's being sponsored though. by. 30 bucks, I feel bad for what I'm about to say now. 30 bucks. The Westboro Baptist Church. Eleven. The Westboro Baptist Church. Church? I love church. Oh, no. Do you know who these people are? What did Jesus do that was so bad? No. <laughs> <laughs> what did he do? No, nah, no. Nah, he, he's right. He's right. <laughs> okay. If you're, if you're watching this or listening to this and you know who these people are, don't tell Odell or Millish. This is way funnier. That they, yeah, I know. You know? Oh, I know. Knows. Look at him. <laughs> what? Oh, wow. Wow! Millish got a dark past that none of us know about. It's, 
I'm I gonna see the Wikipedia being edited in real team. time. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it, that. Add that to the Wikipedia page of controversy. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, I guess we're we're getting close to an hour here. So real quick, last message. Um, watch Last of Us. Uh, get excited for Rev Two rollback when it comes out because the more support it gets, the better. Sign Thanks up for Comic Breaker. HBO Max. What? Oh, I was just adding to the message. Sorry. Uh, sign up for Comic Breaker. Um, and fuck the Westboro Baptist Church. They're all pieces of shit, and the world is would be better off without them. Anyway, bye. <laughs> bye. Adios.